German Federal President Steinmeier and Labour Minister Heil on a promotional tour in Vietnam. The goal? Skilled workers. Easier said than done these days. There is heavy competition from other countries and Germany's current image problem is not helping either. We need clever heads and helping hands in Germany and therefore open-mindedness. And that's why we oppose all forms of racism. The right-wing populists in Germany are damaging our country, not least economically. The two countries want to cooperate even more closely on migration issues in the future. Heil and his Vietnamese counterpart signed an agreement to this effect. Germany is not unpopular in Vietnam. Many Vietnamese have family or friends in the Federal Republic. Over 200,000 people with a Vietnamese background currently live and work there. But it's the rise of the far right in Germany that worries recruiters. The current situation is cause for reflection. It is a difficult situation for society as a whole, not just for our sector. So it is very important for us to prepare students, trainees and skilled workers that they understand fully what is happening at the moment. Countries like Vietnam are important for Germany's efforts. Recruiting agencies in the Southeast Asian countries specialize in the catering, healthcare and nursing sectors, areas in which there are particular shortages in the German labor market. But the German government's search is also turning to countries that have been more closely associated with refugee or asylum issues in recent times. In Morocco, Development Minister Schulze is busy presenting Germany as a cosmopolitan country to convince electricians and hotel and restaurant employees in particular. Commenting on current reports of xenophobic groups with secret deportation plans, Schulze says this is not Germany. What you heard there is not what the majority of people in Germany think. She has the support of the Moroccan Minister of Employment. And we know uh, from the experience that you have a very welcoming country and a very open society uh, and uh, no one can tell the opposite. Despite the warm words, a recent study in Germany found that two out of three skilled workers from non-European countries have faced discrimination. And for a country that needs at least 400,000 newcomers every year, xenophobia only makes the task harder.